Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know this audio is really, really shit, but um, yeah, so basically what had happened was, is I set up my microphone to record and don't know how, don't know when, but the battery is flat. So the microphone is not working. I need to go get new batteries for it, which I thought I had extra, but I don't. So with that being said, if my face is completely new to your screen, go down and hit that subscribe button because you should. And um, also, today we are going to be talking all about my bathroom renovations that I did myself with a little DIY situation just in our little guest bathroom downstairs. So if you are interested in watching this video, go down and give this video a thumbs up already and <laughs> subscribe and you can keep on watching. So let's jump straight into this video. <laughs> Okay, so basically, if you see me looking down here, it's because I've got my lap to my left hand side here and I'm just going to be watching the footage that I've filmed before um, sitting down to record this because I thought I was going to do vlog style, but then I just kind of ended up, kind of ended up, what? Recording everything and compiling it and from now, we are just going to put it like all together and I'm going to talk you through each step that I took. Wow, English has left the group chat. Sorry guys. So, got my laptop over here. Got my video ready for y'all. And I am just going to press play. Sorry, my boobs are like completely in your face. So sorry about that. But I'm going to press play. I painted these, repainted these concrete floors and basically what I googled and all the research that I did, excuse my bougie slippers, um, so most of the research that I did do and videos that I watched showed that you should use a concrete etcher etch first just to like kind of strip it back. It's pretty much just like acid. The concrete etching stuff is super cheap. I think it was like 50-ish rand. I'll put each price of each item on the screen and we're going to do like a full breakdown on how much this bathroom costed me. I started by scrubbing the floor. I wish I had an outdoor um, room, but I don't. So I just used um, this wonder silicone type of situation that I had. And you basically just follow the instructions on the box. It literally just says, scrub the floor, don't let it dry, and then neutralize it with water. So that's what I did. So I mopped it up just to get all the stuff off the floor, and then I used clean water, and then I mopped it again. So that's how I did it. And... I could actually see how much dirt came off this floor because you can't really see dirt on this color floor. So yeah, I changed the color of this floor completely because I just hated this weird brown, green, orange stuff color going on there. So yeah, I'll put the price of the concrete etching stuff on the screen. And um, after this, let's just watch me clean this a little bit. Then I went in and I tested the paint color on the floor. So I found this at Boulders Express or Boulders or I'm pretty sure any hardware store would stock this. Okay, so it's the Fired Earth Trend Floor Concrete Paint and I got it. It's a high quality durable um, interior paint in the color Dynamo. I wish I could have found a lighter gray but there was only six colors available and at this point I was so desperate to paint this floor so this is the color I went for. I was going to go beige, but the color scheme for us is more so gray, white, and then accents of black. Not really like a beige kind of fan. Um, I'm also a cool tone colored kind of person. I don't like it when everything's warm and I don't know, just it, it's not calming for me. So I went ahead and I just painted this floor. I first um, tried to stick um, masking tape on things, but it just didn't work. So I just kind of winged it and just painted with a small paintbrush and then I used a roller for the rest of the floor. And this was actually really satisfying and really, really fun, but it was super easy. You don't need to have any background of any form of, um, I don't know, like home DIY. So yeah, just went in and I painted the floor. Nothing super fancy. But one thing I do want to add is that um, if you've, an OG on my channel you would have seen that before the COVID even started Blaze and I went and we like ripped everything out of this bathroom and this was like the second version of renovating this bathroom so this was like when I made it like very bougie but like previously I literally just stripped everything back and I just made it a complete blank 
canvas so that I could eventually redo it one day. So now this is the one day. So yeah, I just went and I painted the floor this gray color. It looks so stunning now and you can see every little bit of dirt that is there. So best believe our cleaners are cleaning properly now. <laughs> Whereas with this with the previous color you could never see dirt. So yeah, I'm just gonna speed up the rest of this footage of me painting. It's the slippers for me. Okay girl, you go girl. You paint that floor and you mess on that wall. Yeah, for some reason I couldn't get the masking tape to stick or anything. I just didn't want to it just didn't want to stick, so kind of just winged it. And it came out good. That was so satisfying. So this was after one coat and I just kind of left it for about three hours or so because it is an oil-based paint so it does take a lot longer to dry. So this was the first day but I decided, I did it so late the first time that I just decided to go ahead and just do it the next morning. So then this was obviously the next morning painting the floor. For some reason I like doing DIYs in bikinis. If you follow my DIYs you would have already seen I just love doing it in a bikini. I don't know why, I think it's because I don't want to ruin my clothing and if I get it on my skin it's a lot easier to get off than it is to get off clothing. And I always seem to lose my painting outfit. So yeah, I painted the floor again. Don't mind, oh look at me, how cute is she? Don't mind me drinking my Pepsi Max over here. But then I went ahead and I used the Plascon Wall and All. I love this paint so much, it's a water based paint and it is amazing, I love it. So easy to use, dries super quickly and I went in with the colour, it's called Ryan Castle. And it's a very beautiful dark charcoal color. So I painted the wall behind the toilet in this color. So a five, whoa, look at that chin. A five liter of water and oil is usually about 750 rand, but it goes really, really far. So I already used that five liter on the wall downstairs by the bra and along the whole jacuzzi wall and also used it for the jacuzzi. So it's, it goes really far. So this was the last bit of it that I used for the toilet yeah I just went ahead and I painted this it took about two coats and I did like thicker coats as you can see it went from thin to thick so now I just painted this wall with this dark charcoal color I think it looked stunning I just felt like we needed like an accent wall in there because otherwise it's so boring and just so plain and white so yeah I thought the charcoal was a nice touch once again following the theme of bikinis love painting in a bikini and the super cute shorts are from Zaffel. Okay, so that was the first coat. And then I left it for about an hour. I came back. second coat and then this is what it looked like afterwards after I'd taken the tape off the wall and everything hey guys so here I am quickly just interrupting this vlog and I'm quickly going to share with you guys a few of the decor items that I bought today so I feel like I, I thought I was going to be talking like through the vlog like just before like I'm going to paint the wall now but I just decided to do this more so sit down and show you footage from when I did it. This is not very long ago, this is very very recent. If you follow me on Instagram you will know it's very recent. I went to Mr. Price home this morning and I went and got a decor items for the bathroom just to like zhuzh it up a bit because it's it's a very basic bathroom and I feel like it needs to just get a few like accessories and just a touch. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands but I'm doing it. Um, so I'll show you guys what I got. So I went to Mr. Price home and I found, well I already had floating shelves like this. There's one above the TV downstairs and there are three mini ones in our bathroom upstairs. But yeah, I found more of them and I found a 90 centimeter one. I thought the biggest one was only 60 centimeters, but there's a 90 centimeter one. So this, how insane is this? It honestly is perfect. The wall behind the toilet is 90 centimeters and the shelf is 90 centimeters. I already tested it so it does fit perfectly. So I'm super happy about that guys. Super happy. So I got two of these. Because the bathroom is, I think it was kind of like an afterthought when the house was built and it was just like let's utilize the space and let's just make a bathroom underneath the stairs. So it's kind of like the situation. So the bathroom's roof is very low but it's fine because I mean it's just literally 
for guests, like if you're having a bra or whatever. So I'm going to put two of these above the toilet instead of doing three. I think two will be fine and I can just put nice decor items throughout the um, shelf. <laughs> so I've got two of them. The other one's already downstairs in the bathroom. And then I got, okay, so before I went, I set out a budget of... Um, a thousand rand. I was like, okay, let me just because I know if I don't set a, a slight budget, I'm gonna go completely over. So I set myself like a budget of like one thousand rand to like one two ish for decor. I know that's like really extra and you don't need to spend that much, but because Mr. Price Home is the nicest place nearby, that is just why I decided to go there. But, but like, I enjoy the stuff there. It's just I feel like some of the things you can get cheaper elsewhere. But yeah, I love myself a good MRP moment. I just got a diffuser for, what is this, a reed diffuser for the shelf. So I got it in the scent African Cocoa Butter. It's a really pretty one too, I think it's going to match the vibe. And then um, I decided for all the accents in the bathroom, because we're going for that very modern, like dark charcoals, blacks and that kind of vibe, I decided to go for um, the black bins. What is going on here? I went for a black bin like this for the bathroom and I also went for a black toilet hole toilet hole I went for a black toilet brush as well so that's that I got so I got this really pretty um like ceramic vase type of pot and I saw it in the store they had it set up like this so this is what it looks like and then they had this exact um little draping plant in it like as display so when i saw this i was like okay cool this is going straight on the shelf and i'm gonna buy it i literally took it already set up like this because i just thought it was so perfect it just needs to be fixed now because it's been in a bag but yeah i thought that that was beautiful this will go on the top top shelf i got this basket so this is just a plain black um wicker type of basket and i'm just gonna put toilet rolls in this on the shelf i think it'll look stunning and then the last item is this super fluffy bougie black rug that i'm gonna put on the floor it's actually like a it's more so for like a shower a bathroom with a shower but is it weird that I enjoy a soft mat under my feet when I'm on the toilet? Surely I'm not weird, but yeah, I got this because I just thought like, I just want my guests to feel the same. So I got myself this rug. So everything in total ended up being 1.7 instead of 1.2. But it's okay. I mean, I think I did well. I did look at all the prices and I did go back and look for cheaper versions, but there wasn't. So I think it's going to look really, really stunning. I'm excited to put all of this together and show you guys. I just first need to get um, the basin, the new basin and cabinet installed. Um, because I need to call a plumber to do that because he needs to do everything. Okay, so um, yeah, that was all the decor that I had bought for um, the bathroom. So I found this ladder that I'm busy painting with this milky white varnish on Facebook Marketplace. And I love Facebook Marketplace. It's absolutely amazing. I love that place. Like, I will forever be looking on there. And I bought paid like 100 bucks for it. So... It was kind of splintery, so that's why I sealed it with that wood sealer. And um, yeah, I just did one coat of it, but I did a really thick coat. I did miss some spots, but it's okay. I just kind of wanted to seal the main parts of it. Um, my basin and cabinet I got from CTM on Black Friday. They had a special where it was like one, two or something. It came with the basin, the cabinet, the legs. Um, the pop-up waste, it came with the drain already. It literally came with everything besides the drainage pipe and then a tap. So I got that on a Black Friday special. That's how long ago I bought the basin and everything for this bathroom. This was the next morning now when I finally got Blaze. <laughs> he hates drilling into walls because the walls in this house for some reason are so hectic. And thick so they are such a mission to draw into but yeah I managed to get in to put the shelves up for me they looked so pretty look at me peeking around the corner giving instructions I'm a great pa passenger seat driver 
<clears throat> so here we are measuring everything. We had quite a struggle with these shelves because Flay's measured the top one wrong so we had to like make do with holes. And then this is me adding all of my decor that I showed you guys onto the shelves. I thought all of the decor items that I chose were like, I thought they were really really cute and they matched the whole vibe of the bathroom. And yeah, this is just me doing the last touches of decorating. I bought black bins and black toilet brushes and things like that. My fluffy carpet and my ladder and then I put the towels on and then um, after this it took me quite a while to be honest with you but mainly because I had to wait for my taps to arrive for the bathroom before I could call a plumber so I ordered um, my taps and things on Excel bath and home if I'm not mistaken so I paid like 600 and something rand for my tap and then the pop-up waist, I bought a black one after um, I wanted the black fittings in the bathroom. And I got that from Tile and All in Jeffreys Bay for 230 rand. And then um, other than that, the only other things that I haven't showed you as of yet, but I'm going to put them in now, is the plumber putting in the basin for us. He's actually one of our friends, which is great. Okay, it's going to be slightly echoey in here right now, but I just want to show you what I want to quickly do. So, um, as you can see, the fittings and everything is black. So, I want to spray paint these um, handles with a satin spray paint. I'm obviously going to take them off the door and then spray them outside. But yeah, I just wanted to match completely and then I'm going to get like matching um, hand soap and hand wash and then a sanitizer. So... Yeah, that's my plan. Um, and then I also just need to clean off this sticker on the bottom of the basin. I just need to go buy some methylated spirits. And yeah, I also think I should maybe spray paint this thing as well. I think I should do this as well so that it's like a black, black and black. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to quickly take these off and spray them. And then I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's dry. Like that was literally the most basic bathroom renovation ever. This is such a short video, I think. Um, but yeah, um, I'm going to put the full cost of the bathroom on the side over here. I don't think it was too much, especially for how nice it looks. And honestly, I really can't complain. I love the way the bathroom looks and we've already got so many compliments. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope you guys like these kind of videos because I really do enjoy like filming and doing house renovations. It's just it's just my, my kind of vibe. So um, yeah, I love doing this. We are actually getting our bathroom upstairs renovated as well in a couple, in about a week or not, a week and a half. Then we are starting renovations on our bathroom up here. So that will obviously not be a DIY because our bathroom up here is like so screwed. It's like beyond repair. But yeah, I'm so excited. I love these home renovations. Um, when I decide to paint the laminate flooring in this room, I will definitely do a video about that and show you what I used and all of that. So I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, subscribe please. And also give this video a thumbs up. And let me know down below if there's any DIY things that you guys want me to try or do or anything like that because I am so down to do something like that. But with that being said, I hope you guys have a great evening or morning whenever you're watching this and I will see you in the next one. Bye!